All right, so if you're watching this video, you want to upgrade leaf springs on your boat trailer. What you're looking at here is a single leaf spring off the trailer of my Bass Tracker Classic XL. It's, it was a 2020. And what I did was I upgraded from single leaf to triple leaf. So what you're gonna do, first thing you're gonna do to get the measurement of your leaf springs, because all are different, you're gonna jack up your trailer. You could do it with the boat still on. What you're trying to do here is relieve pressure off the leaf spring itself so it's not compressed. And then I'm sure the uh, axle will be in the way, which is fine, you can work around that. You're gonna take a tape measure and right here at the center of the eye, you don't measure all the way to the end. You measure right at the center. We're just trying to get a rough measurement here of what you're working with. And as you can see, I got about 26 inches. Yours is gonna be different, but it may be different. But regardless, you're you're gonna get some sort of measurement. And as I mentioned, you're gonna wanna measure at the center. So what we're looking for here is eye to eye measurements. That'll indicate how long of a spring you need to get. Next, what you need to do is you're gonna need to measure the actual width of the spring. And what I got here is about one and three quarters. So in my case, I'm looking for a 26 inch long, roughly, I believe I got about a 26 and a quarter long leaf spring. Uh, and then by one and three quarter inches width, and then what you want to do, what you want to do is measure how thick each leaf spring is. This matters because it'll determine the length of the U-bolts that you'll need. So I'm looking at about, mm, at the base here, I'm looking at about, looks like five eighths of an inch. And then as you notice, it kind of shortens up a little bit. So I got about, it's hard to tell here. I got about a half inch here. So the thickness of this leaf spring changes, but regardless, it's not really gonna matter too much. Your new leaf pack will dictate what size U-bolts you're gonna need. So that is how you get the basic measurements off of your leaf springs on your trailer. And then what you're gonna wanna do, possibly if you need to change out U-bolts, you're gonna need to get the actual uh, width of your trailer axle. So some are two and a half inch, some are two and three quarter inch, some are three inch. So you'll need to determine that with a pair of calipers. Or you could you could just do it the old fashioned style, just kind of eyeball it. I eyeballed it, worked out really well. Okay, so next what you need to do is identify the specifications of your trailer and its allowable weight ratings. So there's a couple ratings here zoom in so you can see. I have a GBWR, I have a GAWR, and max load. So what you want to do is obtain the ratings from the GAWR, the gross allowable weight rating, which is 2,700 pounds. This matters because it'll tell you what type of load leaf springs you're going to need. You're going to factor in the weight of your boat, total, everything, including the motor, everything all combined. And then you're also going to factor in the weight of your trailer itself. And then you're going to factor in an additional 20% due to road shock. And that'll tell you what type of leaf spring you need to get. Okay, and here it is. So the triple leaf spring set up for my 2020 Bass Tracker Classic XL. For the Bass Tracker Classic XLs specifically, this axle is two and a half inches. These are just specs that you should know. 
this triple leaf spring pack single-handedly not talking about the other side is good for 1750 pounds per side so that's one single pack alone combines for 3500 pounds total and after doing my calculations i determined i was sitting at about oh what was it 2200 pounds total for the boat and the trailer something like that you factor in 20 percent to that and that's about 2660 pounds or so well a double leaf spring setup would not have worked for this because it would have been under spec a triple is a little bit overkill it's a little bit more than you need but it works it's effective it works fantastic actually and taking these principles you can get the exact size that you need for your boat the exact setup for what you need and even if you break a leaf you'll still have two more in my case at least some of you will run four leaves some will run three just depends on the type of boat you have type of trailer you got and these these springs what they call them is double eye leaf springs and these u-bolts specifically for our style boats the bass tracker classics i was able to reuse the old leaf pack uh u-bolts uh and i still had a little bit of threads hanging out so we're good everything works the ride quality is incredible due to the progressive qualities of the triple leafs and it was very easy to change out i honestly just did it with a bottle jack and then the part of the of the uh, beam and hub assembly that would hang down after i pulled the tires off and the springs off was like meager weight while i was trying to bolt it all up if you get leaf springs that are a quarter inch longer, half inch longer, no problem. That hanger in the back is flexible. You just unbolt it a little bit and move it around and it turns out good. And finally, because you are adding extra leaf springs to the setup, what you wind up with is basically like a lift on your trailer. So this will actually allow you to run a larger tire setup due to increased clearances between tire and fender. So what I determined after looking inside here, you'd have to take like a flexible tape measure or something. You'd have to see how much allowable space you have in here uh, vertically. I had about, ooh, what was it? I believe about one and three quarter inches. And so this is a 13 inch rim and this will allow me to upgrade to a 14 inch without any rubbing or uh, fender to tire clearance issues, anything like that. So in summary, it's a very easy upgrade. I'm actually gonna change out rims here shortly, very shortly actually. And um, yeah, things will be good after that. I'll be able to roll a little faster on the highway without having to worry. These are C-rated tires. Um, I'll be able to upgrade to D or E load rating tires. I'm actually upgrading to D rated just because I don't like the way these, these flex naturally. So anyways, yeah, that about sums up the video. I apologize about all the interruptions and sounds that you hear like so. Like and subscribe, please. Uh, I'll continue making content for you guys. said i apologize for that i'll keep making content for you guys uh whatever you guys request next i got plenty of info for you guys and otherwise short of that have a great day and uh, take care of yourselves guys bye now